Do you want to know how to recover your print from PowerOst? I present you the Big 3 Tech Mini UPS. Stay tuned. Hello friend, welcome back. I hope everything is fine with you. In this video, I will explain how to install this Mini UPS from Big 3 Tech on your printer and setting your firmware with PowerLost. Before we get started, I will explain some details about this Mini UPS. We found two versions of this product on AliExpress. The 24 version that is suitable for the printers with 24 volts power supply, such as the popular Ender 3 and the 12 volts version that I will use in this video to install on my CR10. You cannot connect the 12 volts version to 24 volts. It will burn immediately, so pay attention to buy the correct product for your printer. I will make a box because I will put the mini UPS on the bottom of my Creality CR10. I started by measuring the mini UPS with my clipper to draw the box with the right measurements. With the box I will avoid contact with other electronic parts. Now it's time to open the Fusion 360. I will leave the link to the STL file in the video description. And we have our little box ready to print. And my little box is ready. Let's insert the UPS inside the box. This cable that came with the mini UPS is what we will connect to the board on the pin that we will define in the firmware as the power loss. This other cable is the one that will connect to the power supply. I will put some ferrules on the wire ends. This is the cable with the ferrules already in place. I connected the black wire on the left and the red one on the right. I will use tape with glue on both sides to attach my box on the printer. I will now put the mini UPS in place, in this case on the bottom of my modified CR10. I will put the mini UPS here near the Big 3 Tech Relay for automatic shutdown module after printing. If you want to see a video how to assemble this module, leave it in the comments. If there are 10 requests, I will make the video. I will use a Zmax and stop which is a free pin on my board to connect my mini UPS. But any other pin that is free can be used. Now let's connect the mini UPS to the power supply. Make sure the power is off and make sure you connect the black wire to the V- and the red wire on the V- on the power supply. And we easily have our hardware mounted on SKR 1.3, but the mini UPS is also compatible with other boards from Big 3 Tech. And you can also connect the mini UPS to the board's power input as shown in image. Before we start modifying the firmware, let's look at the SKR pin scheme. I connected to the mini UPS on the Zmax and stop which is the pin 1.24. Now we will open the configuration and configuration advance in Marlin and we will search for the word SD support and we will make sure that this option is active in our firmware. Now in the configuration advance we will search for the word power underscore loss. Let's activate this option by deleting these two bars. And we activate all the power loss options. Choose how many millimeters do you want to raise the nozzle in case of power loss. Define the pin that is connected to the mini UPS this case 1.24. In the first configuration I left in the power loss raise 50 mm, but after testing I left 3 mm. Now just compile the firmware and put it on the machine. And we are ready to print our Benji. Let's do it! 
I will use AutoLev, the sensor for auto bed leveling. I will leave the link for this sensor in the video description. I think this will be a good upgrade solution for your printer. This sensor will guarantee an excellent first layer on your prints. So let's start printing the Benji. Now I will disconnect the power cable to see what happens. That's it. Let's turn on. The mini UPS raises the nozzle 3 mm from the print, through avoiding the nozzle melting and leave an blob. In the screen we have the option to resume the print. The printer will home now on X and I axis and wait to the right temperature to continue printing. <laughs> That's it. And we have saved our Benji, ready to navigate on all our pages. I consider definitely this a nice upgrade to your printer. I will leave the link to the mini UPS on the video description. And guys, if you like this video, leave that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for when I upload the new content, you get a notification. And see what the next one. Until there, a big hug to all of you. Bye.